wine, a drink of enjoyment infused with culture and stories. And in this episode of Get Swiss, I go to the heart of Swiss winemaking here in Valais. Valais is the largest producer of wine in Switzerland and viticulture has been fermenting here since the early 14th century. One of the warmest regions of Switzerland, its ideal grape growing conditions provide unique wine experiences along with stunning views. One of the region's hottest events sells out within hours each year. This Viterminen's Wielgrün Fest is the wine event that started them all. Here we go. For more than 25 years, thousands of revelers have made the 4.5 kilometer hike tasting local wine and cuisine en route. You have to work for your wine in Valais. <laughs> With a few distractions along the way. But the payoff is worth it as the trail ascends more than a thousand meters through some of Europe's highest vineyards. From grapes of lofty aspirations to some more on the petite side. Winding my way above the medieval village of Sion, I arrive at a very special place. It's home to the smallest officially registered vineyard in the world. And its owner is not quite who you'd expect. These three vines are owned by His Holiness the Dalai Lama. Equaling just two deciliters of wine a year, it is mixed with Grand Cru grapes from around the village to make 1,000 special bottles, which are sold in aid of charity. Goes to show, size really doesn't matter. My wine adventures end in Sierre, where I'm meeting Swiss wine aficionado, Dr. Jose Vuillamor. Swiss wine is an enigma for many, and with all the days quaffing, I'm curious to know more. In Switzerland, we cultivate more than 252 grape varieties, which is a lot. Only 21 of them are indigenous, but two-thirds are from Valais. Santé! Cheers to that! 